accountant based in Blackrock County Dublin. In the video that follows I'm going to give you a guide on how to set your business up on Sage One accounting package. I'll show you some of the common pitfalls and mistakes that people make and hopefully this will save you a lot of time when you do start to use Sage One. I hope you enjoy the video. I have just uh, started this uh, demo company so that I can show you what uh, goes on within uh, a package called Sage One. So the first thing you may want to do is to go to business settings and go into about your business. Now we have set up OSA demo, address, 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 and so on. All right, you will need to put in a registration number if it's a limited company. If it's a sole trader, you don't need that. So you just set all that up. We put it in like that. All right. And you can have an option to use the registered address. Now, the registered address is where the company's office or company's house send official correspondence. So if it's the same as a business address, click that. If it's not, then you can go through and change. Okay? So you can change that. For a lot of businesses, it's exactly the same. Okay? So we'll delete all that. Same as business address. Okay. So we're going to save that. Now, uh, when people come to do their accounts, they often dive right in at the at, to, at the payment side. Okay, and I don't advise that. What I advise you to do is go in and start on your purchase invoices. In other words, your suppliers. Okay, suppliers. So there are. Uh, I've set one supplier up already, and I'm going to add a new one now. And that is going to be uh, OSA McQuillan. Right. All right. Um, so I can put in a, a reference, and often I use just the first three words and zero zero one. You can sometimes, if you have thousands of suppliers, you may need to find them. And this is a quick way to find them. Now we can put in account details, uh, the address, and so on, or we can leave that blank. And in here we can put, we can, if it default, now if it defaults to cost of sales, but you may want to put it into, say, accounting. Okay. So I'll just put in the first few letters there, and that's fine. So I click on save. And that's another supplier saved. Okay, so you can just go through your invoices and put in new supplier. Where that comes in handy then is later on you want to put in a new invoice. Okay, and I advise you to put in new invoices before you put in the payments. So you click on new invoice. You go into supplier. Right. Now, if we wanted air that in and it would bring up error first. We put in OSA, we click on that, we may need to change that 010119. I don't need to put in the backslash, it just saves a little bit of time. I click here and it puts in it's your it's a uh, it's European style dates. So for um, 31st of December you put in 31, 12, 19, 18, sorry. Uh, I'm not sure if there's an option to do the US style, but that's how they do it. You can put in the supplier's invoice number, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you can put in your own reference number. So you might have 300 invoices already, so you just put in this is invoice number 301. You can put in the description here, so accounting. All right, accounting fees. You can still change this if it was for telephone. You just put in the first letters. If it was for mobile, you can put 
Lynn Motor and it gives you some suggestions there. If it was for vehicle fuel, repairs, licenses, insurance and so on. So it gives you a good it gives you a good uh, you can just click into them quite quickly. So and now you can if you remember if you know the numbers you can use the numbers. So five thousand is cost of sales, so put that in. Right? Or as it is, we not want accounting. So it's accounting fees. So we put in uh, 1000 and then we need to click on the standard VAT rate. So let's go back there, 1000. So it's already computed the VAT for me. So I'm going to go save and new. Oh, sorry, save. Or if I go save and new, that will bring me into the next new one. What else can I do? I can go here and I can upload a file. Say, for example, I scan. So I can scan there. I might want to do that. Or if I go save and new, it just saves and leads me to the next. So invoice done successfully. Right? So here I go again. Error. Invoice. Date. Reference. Supply reference. My reference description okay and it's defaulted to telephone for error okay so that is the way to do it with the um, invoices now let's say I've done a few of them and I'm happy enough lead page <clears throat> so I just need to change this for one or one nineteen search where are we? I just put in 15. There it is. Okay, so it was at the end of 18. <clears throat> now let's say I have a change to this. I want to change uh, something with it. I go into edit and I can update it. So it turns out it's not accounting fees. I can change. It can change everything. Accounting for year ended 31st December 2017 save that okay that's it so it's saved change is saved happy days so that's pretty much it how to do the purchases invoices and like i said i would advise you to do the purchases invoices first before you did go into the cash book to do the payments so i hope that was helpful just to give you the basics on how to set your business up on sage one and there were some useful tips for you that should save you a lot of time particularly at the start when you're just getting to grips with Sage One. Eamon O'Sullivan is my name. I'm an accountant and I'm based in Blackrock, County Dublin.